so hello people it has been a while and um but i'm back and i wanted to gosh i don't even know where to begin y'all because it's been so long um but i will say right now up front and foremost i know i am all up in your face right now that is because I am in a rental car and this rental car is weird. <laughs> um, let me see, I gotta get some AC going up in this piece. Um, the rental car, it's a Jeep Compass, which is a cool looking little car. I love the car itself as far as it's a good size. It's not my forerunner, but you know. Um, yeah, so I had to rent a car this weekend. I went to the coast to Port A. Um, I did a family thing with my son and his wife's family, which I had a great time. Um, oh my goodness, I had an awesome time. Um, looks like the coloring is pretty much way off too. So this is probably gonna be the ugliest vlog ever. But I just, I wanted to start the week off doing something. I apologize that it's just been, um, you know, as I always tell you guys, and, and, and you know, this is really, I mean, it's a fun thing for me. I vlog for fun. I, I'm i still trying to work on that, figure out how to, to do all the stuff that I need to do to where it can produce revenue. But, um, yeah, so I did not want to go another full week without vlogging. It's like, you know, if I just start on Monday, get it out there, you know, try to start the week off right. God, I am so in your face right now. So anyway, that is where we are right now. I'm actually headed to TJ Maxx. I'm going to pick up a layaway uh, of a purse. That purse I mentioned in a vlog, if I posted it. I've been so, I've been vlogging, guys, but I just haven't been posting. So if I say something and you guys are like, what the heck is she talking about? Forgive me because I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said. Okay, why am I not getting cool people? Hello. Okay, whew. It's hot. So anyway, so uh, forgive me, but I did put a purse on layaway a while back. I think I vlogged about it. Um, I commented that, well, I know I vlogged about it. Did I post it? That's the better question, I guess. Um, I just been doing the purse thing like overload and I realized that, but it is, it's, I'm digging some different style purses right now and I'm, I'm just enjoying the fact that I, there's some different ones out there for me to check out. Um, I need to look at this one again. I honestly don't even know if I remember what it looks like. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. Like, I, I want to look it over a little bit better. Because sometimes when I'm on my lunchtime, I'm looking at so many different things that I, you know, like I'm, I'm covering a lot of space in a little bit of time. And so um, I do need to look at it a little bit more. I still haven't even shown you um, up close and personal to the one that I got off layaway a few weeks before I put that one on layaway or like a few days or I don't even know like well I guess maybe a few weeks because I think I left it on for like the month which is the one I've been carrying lately um, instead of on my Marc Jacobs um, which gosh I should actually go to <sighs> that just reminded me I want to go to Nordstrom's Rack and look at their purses again before I well, I can always take this one back if it turns out. I should have gone to Nordstrom's Rack. Maybe I should keep on to Nordstrom's Rack today. Okay, guy, what are you doing? What is this guy doing? Oh, my goodness. People are just so ridiculous. Like, I just don't believe this. This guy just oh, cut people off. Just And he's pulling this big old wreck of truck. It's ridiculous. But now I'm kind of debating on if I should run the Nordstrom's rack or if I should go ahead and go to TJ Maxx. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, ah, I, I need to decide. Do I turn right now in like the next two minutes or do I keep on down and take a look at the purses in Nordstrom's rack? Because I haven't looked in there in a while. Okay, TJ Maxx is already on layaway. Um, if I get it off today. I'm debating people like majorly big time. You know what? Girl is gonna go on to Nordstrom's rack, y'all. 
I'm like, I'm like right here at the exit and I am so trying to decide because I already have it on layaway. It's not due out till the 22nd. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go to Nordstrom's Rack and look. And if I don't see anything, I might end up. I just passed it. I don't know. I'm thinking, did I do the right thing? No, I want to look to see what they have in Nordstrom's Rack real quick. Which I might end up just looking in there and coming right out. I feel like crap, y'all. Female Issues has got the girl by the coattail. And I'm talking, it is running me ragged today. <laughs> TMI, I know. But the girl just had to throw that out there because a the crap hit me just now that almost killed me. Woo! goodness so anyway all right so I did I am actually headed to Nordstrom's Rack changing the vlog y'all changing the vlog girl is going to Nordstrom's Rack and gonna peep at the purses in there before she lock herself down on the person she got it not that I'm gonna be locked down because all I'm gonna do is I'll return the bad boy if I change my mind but you know what it is a good idea that I go look now and then if I see something that I like better then I can do a, a I can get it out and return it all at the same time so I, I'm, I'm doing the right thing I know I am I'm just oh, man y'all I'm starting to feel really bad here my drugs are not kicking in I took some Advil this morning and it's just seemed like it don't want to cooperate with me I think too my body is just exhausted this hair y'all it looks like it's so shrunk up to my head but it's really not that shrunk up to my head which you know okay let me talk to y'all about something like I I hinted last weekend, um, not this, not the weekend before last, I guess now, and um, I hinted on Friday night for like probably like two hours, and then I rinsed out the henna. My hair was like freaking orange as all get out, and um, which freaked me out. I was like, what? I didn't use the lemon sauce in my henna, which I probably should have, and I think that may have had something to do with it. When I went to do the indigo. Um, the indigo did not take like it like my freaking hair is I mean it 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 darkened the orange But it did not I mean my hair is red up under here like it looks terrible Terrible that would look, sounded really weird um, So I don't know what's going on y'all, but I can't I mean like you know the process time that it takes to do this henna stuff like, I, it, you know, it's not like you can just go, oh, I'm going to go back and redo it in a couple hours or whatever because it freaking takes you all night to henna. So I'm just like freaking out. So now I'm, I'm going to need to henna this weekend. So um, I'm going to have to do it, an instant replay. So I'm just like, I don't know if it's because I had been hennaing back to back and the henna was just called holding better because I was doing it quite a bit there for a while. But I'm like, this last time, I, it was a little bit of a time before I did it again. So I don't know if maybe that had some kind of play into it or not. I don't know. I'm just angry that it did not work out. So I don't know. I, I, I'm loving, I think, the results of the henna. And I just don't know about this indigo stuff because... I mean, like I said, to get it to to, to be dark, I, le I need to leave it on all night. And the last time I did it, it came out so beautiful. Like, I don't under... Okay, guys, don't back out. Don't back out. I'm like... Um, so, I don't know. Any advice from anybody, like... I don't know like I I mean girls got some serious gray so I definitely have to have something done like I need to figure something out so you guys help me out um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit again this weekend I'm probably gonna do it Friday night or maybe I'll do it I probably I don't know maybe I'll do it Saturday night because I, I think one day this coming up weekend I am going to chill the heck out like I'm seriously gonna like because last weekend I'm like I said I'm exhausted right now this past weekend was just beautiful but I just took so much out of me and I'm tired and I need to rest and I got to help a friend with an estate sale on Saturday and I was thinking if I just left the hair to die in my hair like all day on Saturday while I'm at the estate sale that's what I'm kind of thinking I want to do it Friday night into Saturday and just leave the crap on my head like all day long while I'm at the estate sale my hair being in the hot sun like you know and I have a little thing on my head a little do-rag on my head you know I don't know y'all 
But anyway, I'm just a little bit frustrated because I just feel like it should have, I don't know what the difference is. And I, I, I do know I didn't do the lemon juice and the henna and maybe that had a big to do with it. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and do the lemon juice this time and we'll see. Um, if it is, I can only blame myself because I got home, I didn't have any, and I totally forgot to get it. And I was just like, well, you know, the time before that, I didn't use lemon juice. But you never know. I don't know. Girl, it's just confused up in here, okay? So, like the lips, y'all. We're going to talk about the lips when I get back in the car. I am now at Nordstrom's Rack. So, just in case the girl finds something that she can't live without, I will share it with you when I come back out to my car. But right now, I'm going to head out. But this is, um, this is some stuff that I got from Ulta. That I want to share with y'all. Throw that down in the fourth right now. Go put on my little headset. And girl going to be jamming. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully I'm going to find me something. Okay look. This looks all tacky here. Let's make myself look a little bit better. Hair looking a little bit cray cray y'all though. But it's all good. So I will chat in a moment. Okay lovely people. The girl has made it back into the car. And okay I feel so like. I don't know why but. Okay. I'm almost embarrassed to say this. Okay, there's several things that I saw in there. And I have a band-aid on my hand because I have, I don't know if it's a callus or what, but it's like in the crease of my hand where, like, like the crease line and it hurts like heck. But, um, okay, so I saw two things in there that I want. I saw a Marc Jacobs. Okay, this is just gonna keep on coming off because for some reason it's just not wanting to stick. But I saw a Marc Jacobs tote bag in there that was for a hundred dollars, and I saw a um, Rebecca Minkoff bag that the Marc Jacobs tote bags they had like probably ten of them all together. So I'm okay with not getting that right now. Then I saw, which I love Rebecca Minkoff, and I saw this bag, and of course it's a black bag that I probably don't need, um, but I like it because. I had seen a bag that was Brahman at the outlet mall that I freaking loved and wanted so bad. Um, but it was kind of pricey at the time for my pocket and um, I didn't get it. So when I saw this one today, I was like, oh my God. So I have the Rebecca Minkoff, um, the little small one that flips over that's like um, padded in the front and it has the studs on it. And I do love it, but it is a little bit small and it is really just meant for, you know, like that just I'm going out and um, it's, I don't know, it's just, I, I love it, but you know, I, I I just been thinking, like I guess in that subconscious mind, I wanted something for a little bit bigger that I could throw across my body and, um, you know, carry if I needed to carry another bag, like, a, like more stuff or whatever. So I saw this bag, okay, so the front of it buttons like this and opens and it's got you know the as they say the media pockets in the front and then it has like a little zipper part and of course a Rebecca Minkoff bag um, uh, the little dust bag and then the back of it has and it has this cute little strap which y'all know I'm, I love purses with straps but then this is a zipper and my wallet fits in there um, I will probably put my wallet inside of the front part and then in back here, I would put things like my keys, stuff that I need access and just leave the zipper open 99.9% .9 of the time. But this was like a very good price. Like it was like $110, I think. Um, gosh, how much did I pay for it? Let's see. Like, I think it was like $109. Um, let's see, we don't wanna. Yeah, so I need, um, yeah 109 so I mean I really do like it um, I'm just I'm not sure right here what I'm gonna do I have another person home now that I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick on offer up tonight it's a coach it's an old one that I've had for a while um, I think I'm gonna put that one on offer up and see if I can sell it and um, that will make me feel okay by buying this one and this band-aid I apologize y'all looks really tacky that I have a band-aid that just keeps coming off but I do like it of course like I said it does have the shoulder strap and um, it can, I mean, it can get pretty long, so I could like literally carry it every day. Um, you know, like it's a big enough purse. That, oh, I got too close and personal that I could carry most often. But then, okay, so I saw this in um, their like 
several months ago, like probably two, three months ago. And this is a Tory Burch eyeshadow palette. And I really like the colors that was in it. But the only one that they had was cracked. So, um, and as a matter of fact, well, they had a couple other ones, but they all were cracked. And they were going to send them all back because they were just not in good shape. So, I've not ever owned anything Tory Burch as far as makeup before. So, um, I don't know. But the color. Oh, I thought the thing fell out. So these are the colors. They're absolutely very earth tone, um, very neutral. But um, I don't know. I just thought they were really pretty. And I have, I don't know. I, I just wanted to try them. So I don't know if anyone has used any Tory Burch eyeshadows before. What you can tell me about them. This palette is called, um, does it have a name? It just is eyeshadow palette. <laughs> okay. Yep, I just say pas du tout. I don't know what that means, but there's no English version of that. But anyway, um, there's a little spot, swatch, a spot, a little swatch of one of them. So I don't have time to do the whole kit and caboodle of that, but it was like $27. So for what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadows, I think. Um, not a bad deal so anyway so oh man this band-aid is driving me insane so i am going to go ahead and head back to work because i don't know guys like what do you think about my purse like um it's a very structured purse and the tote is by mark jacobs did i tell y'all that that i saw and i okay this band-aid gonna... okay somebody needs to get up here everybody can't sit here and wait on the other person I'm getting irritated, y'all. It's, 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 it's the female issues I got. My, my patience just get bad, y'all. So, anyway. So, I want this, this um, tote bag that I saw. And it's $100. So, oh, man. Girl is just having all kinds of thoughts run through her head right about now. <laughs> I'm like, I want it all. And I knew, like, part of me was thinking, girl, don't even go in there. Because you go in there, you're going to be wanting everything that you see. Because I love the purses that's in there. I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, okay, I, if you guys are trying to figure out what I was like, ooh. <laughs> like, I'm constipated or something. Oh my God, okay, so this car that I'm driving, there is something weird about putting the car into drive. Like it's almost like you have to drive it like it's it's an automatic, like it's a stick shift or something. Um, not an automatic, a five speed. So, um, but you have to like push down the drive when you push it over, like you have to kind of go And it's like weird, so it doesn't always go into gear right. So it's just like, I was like trying to put it into gear right. So I apologize, it looks like I was trying to take a massive, <laughs> so yeah so if you're wondering what's on my lips by the way people I am wearing Love Spell by um, Tarte um, they had their 20% off and I got two lipsticks um, I got the orange that's online and I got um, that you can only buy online it's, it is, it's, um, it's an orange and it's um, what is it called um, something clay I don't remember what it's called but I have it in my bag down there. Haven't tried that one on yet. Okay, see, I had to do it again. I don't know what's wrong with this, this thing. It drives me insane. But anyway, um, so that's what I have on my lips today. I have Love Spell. I have the other one. I think it's Cray Cray. Is it called Cray Cray? That's what it's called, I think. Cray Cray. Yeah, I think it's called Cray Cray. Um, I have that on my lip. Oh, I don't have Cray Cray on my lips. I have Love Spell on my lips. So I'm really loving Love Spell. Um, I had bought another one by um, um, Kat Von D. Um, but I think I'm going to take that one back. Because I really think this one looks better. Like I like, well I like the Tarte because they feel better on the lips. I just love how they feel on the lips. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go ahead and take it back and just enjoy my Tarte ones because I think I do want to get the collection of Tarte ones and get all the shades that I actually like. Um, the orange was the only one that I think I can't get anywhere but online so I got that one now so I'm set with that. And by the way if you guys order anything from Ulta and, and you have issues with Ulta's um, online system 
man, I I just cannot tell y'all how frustrated I was. I, I don't know. I don't like things that say you can only get them online because I was so upset at the fact that it took me forever to get this order to, to go through. It's a long process and I'll have to tell you about that when I do the haul video because I might end up not putting all of this into one video now that I've spent time showing y'all my purse and all that good stuff. Um, but I don't know, y'all. I might just make it a super long video and we just hang out for the freaking day. How's that? I don't know. But anyway, um, we'll see. But, um, yeah, so we'll talk about that later in case, I don't know how I'm going to throw it in there. But, um, yeah, so basically that's what's going on, people. So I saw a tote that I want, um, Marc Jacobs. It's just a, it's, um, it's not leather. It's a, you know, it's a, a definitely a tote that's meant for carrying things, doing things, you know, over the weekend stuff and all that kind of stuff. I love the way it looks. Um, I think I want it. Like, I think I want to get it. And, um, it's a hundred bucks. At Nordstrom's rack so I like it but I think I'm probably gonna make it mine <laughs> don't have little auntie no okay Woo. um but yeah so what do you think about this love spell I think it's pretty it's um the other one that I have it's almost identical so that's why I'm gonna take it back like I just gotten it and I, I for some reason was thinking they were different colors but they are pretty much the same color so um yeah, I think I'm going to take it back. So that'll be my 20 bucks coming back to me. And um, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else, what else got going on. So, gosh, I'm loving that purse, y'all. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know that I need it. But I think if I can sell my, um, my vintage one from Coach, that this one will definitely be a good replacement for that one. Because I have wanted and contemplated on selling the one that I have from coach but because it was a little bit bigger like I don't know what's this I could get more stuff in it I was kind of holding off and not okay guy are you gonna okay so I can't my turn signals on but I didn't know if he was gonna be a creeper and decide to speed up right next to me and cause me issues but he didn't so um, but yeah, so I don't, I think I am going to just put my coach on because I, you know, I'm just so, I'm beyond coach and I think I was just holding on to it because it was a good size and when I needed it, I needed it, you know what I mean? But this one, I think is going to be a better fit. <sighs> I don't know guys. What do you think? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I know I'm repeating myself right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get off because I am just in like high strength right now. So, um. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Don't know what I'm going to throw out there as far as anything else I'm going to add to this video or what. But, uh, yeah, don't forget to comment below. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I'm so sorry. It's been a while. And to let everyone know, I will be answering comments. I know I've had a few that have come in. And I haven't forgotten y'all or anything like that. It's just that, like I said, I, you know, y'all, y'all know me. I go through some stuff sometimes. And my life is just full of chaoticness. Um not like trauma like not I, I'm not a drama drama free person but like I just have issues of like if I don't feel well or and I'm not sickly but you know I just you know just issues like I just like um, the car situation last week um, you know when I'm riding with when I'm not in my car alone things like that that just make it not easy for me to vlog or the vlogs just don't come out good because it just doesn't seem like they're working out so that is why I've been gone. Nothing major or anything like that. But um, yeah, so I will head into Target because I need me some salad dressing. I hope they have, they hope they have salad dressing at Target. I'm sure they do, right? Do they? They better. I think they do. Um, but anyway, because I have a salad for lunch. And um, yeah, that reminds me there's some other things I want to talk to you about definitely. So I actually need to vlog like freaking every day this week because I am so behind on sharing with you guys things that I want you guys to know and updating you in my life and things like that so um yeah so I will definitely be vlogging I'm like trying to decide do I want to go now I'm gonna just wait at this darn light um but yeah so I, I I probably need to vlog every day this week because this will turn into one massive vlog and that's not cool either so I probably need to vlog every day this week that's what I'm gonna do 